is games of self-management and self-organization. Um, it's built as five games, just because a lot of you guys can count. It might or might not be five games. I'm Richard Kasparowski. I'm, uh, I call myself an Agile Coach Manager. I work for Nokia uh, in the Boston area. Um, and uh, let's just do it. Let's start with the first game. Does everybody stand up? volunteer. Seconds left. <laughs> Ten seconds left. <coughs> Five seconds left. Three, two, one, done. All right. You're not going to get bullet. <laughs> 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 um, so, almost finished the show. Did you get it right? No. Uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's a very important, complex task that we have to remember to solve for our company so we can make a lot of money. And it's pretty hard. Very, very complex task. Let's try again. Um, just started yesterday, you're over there, if you've been there for 50 years, you're over there. Um, <coughs> workers, figure it out, buy yourselves out. Two minutes? Two minutes?
persistence in, in miles. All right. If you woke up, you woke up under the bridge and you walked over. You stand right there. If you came to the, well, let's say, how far you came to get to the conference from where you live, right? If you live under the bridge, you're right here. If you came from Australia or China, you're over there against that wall. Okay, time starts now. 25 miles. 30 miles. Oh my god. Right next to it. 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 I'm definitely the outlier here. <laughs> oh. 3,000 miles. <laughs> Good, my bad. Which one? Um, what was
sounds a little different. Hi, uh, I, I've been, they asked me to do it by the number of years I've been adding them. Okay. I was doing adding them before they had the name. When the sex yeah. okay. So that put me at the end of the line. I never put myself at the end of that kind of line in terms of experience. Because my experience tells me that if I put myself at the end of that line, I'm not very agile. Right. Well, you know, you say that you, you, you were in a group that was measuring by number of years. The clump I was in was measuring on a one to five scale. And I was pretty sure I heard other scales go. Oh, around. okay. Yeah. Well, I, I just drifted here, and I said, number of years, people were sorting by number of years. So we, didn't even, so we still came up with an answer, and we didn't have. So it was interesting. Yeah. 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 It was so it's really what the client wanted. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. It worked. Um, Any answer? So that game is called Lineup. Just lining up by some criteria, um, and you can do it that way, you can do it that way, you can do it in two dimensions, you can do it whatever you want. Maybe you can do it in three dimensions, I've never tried that, and stack people up. I hope he is all in one, but you The way this session came about is I was, uh, I was working with a bunch of teams, and so we were doing sprint planning sessions and other kinds of things, and we were holding little retrospectives at the end of each sprint planning session, whatever we were doing that day. And um, there were always things that we were, that, that, that the team members were pointing at that were wrong, or that they wanted to get better at. And um, the, the, the big elephant in the room that nobody was talking about was that everybody was being commanded. So before, before the sprint planning meeting, the product owner already had the list of things that the team was going to commit to. Voluntarily, and, and he commanded them to take those things into the sprint. Oh, you can do whatever you want. Um, when the team members were volunteering for the things they were working on, actually the scrum master was assigning things to the team members, and they were just go along with it. Everybody knew that this wasn't what they really wanted to do, but they were going along. With Thank <laughs> you. 
most productive team, who was the most productive worker that time? So that, that was game two. Then it's called 60 Pitch. One other thing, though, there was no collective goal. And was, yeah. actually, in a perverse way, in the, in the managed slash worker, there was actually team, too. Okay. And, and there was a mutual accomplishment of the goal where it worked independently. Other than a mild cardio workout, there was no real goal yeah. or achievement. Um, I wonder, like, if, uh, if, I'm, if it's my money, and I'm paying two people to do 75 cases, that's 30 something cases each. But one person by himself can get 300 cases. I'd, sure. I'd rather buy that one. It's part of the experience. Yeah. But it was also interesting that I counted Yagi steps and I was pretty sure how many I got in theory. With me, after I got to a certain number, I was <coughs> like, oh, yeah, I did 20 more than I really did. So, you know, three million, you're really good so that, that whole management thing, if someone's counting for you, like you said there was a discrepancy between what you said and what you counted. But at least there's that whole checks and balance piece that falls into place as well. If I'm just counting myself, I can say that I created two thousand three yeah, yeah. three million steps. And who's gonna say you didn't unless you have someone watching over you? Not to go against your game thing. I also like the thought Why is that important? To measure product. Why is it important to measure accurate productivity? Yeah. Are you measuring productivity? Sure. Why is it to measure productivity? The number of steps or the outcome? I was measuring it by the number of steps.
so retrospective over. <laughs> Retrospectives are time boxed. Time boxed just ended. Um, uh, Michael Zahoda had a chart of different kinds of games yesterday. He had four quadrants for different kinds of games. These games are all in the quadrant of games that teach. Um, so these are games that are showing things about self organization, self management. Um, maybe you're experiencing some of that by doing it. Maybe you can take these games down to your teams and play them with your teams. Um, that's, that's kind of my goal today. Um, share these with you and maybe. That's game number two, 60 paces. For game number three, um, you're going to need help moving all the tables out of the way. Toward the wall. <laughs> Secret friends, if you're my two secret friends, I'm going to address them like this. So we're part of the equilateral trend. Okay, so don't tell anybody who your secret friends are. Does that include uh, my secret friends? That includes yeah. your secret friends. They might have different secret friends. Okay. So we've got a lot of friends here in the room. With your two secret friends, form equilateral triangle. So that's, um, that was an amazingly complex problem that you guys all figured out and solved by yourself. And, I don't know, you're the management for it. Do you think you could have solved that problem? Okay. Um, next, next version of this game is now you have a secret friend. Pick, pick totally different people. Forget your secret friends. Pick a different secret friend. Pick one different handshake, somebody's left hand. <laughs> Alright. Are we have one left hand to one left hand? No triples or quads? 
Yep.
But in this one, when we were at a reasonable team size, it was like you couldn't do it on your own. You, you couldn't figure it. It wasn't like I could figure out where I should be with just like a little bit of help from people next to me. It was like everybody on the team was doing a little bit of management of sort of the team and the people around them. And like it was like management was an activity that was happening, but it was happening healthfully and by everybody doing stuff. Yeah, everybody felt like they contributed to the situation. I don't know, an optimal management solution from above and Sure. All right, time check. Retrospective's over. Yeah. My watch. Um, so that was game four. Uh, for game five, this is an open request for a fifth game showing self-organization. Yes. Uh, yes, let me try. Can I have eight people, please? Eight masochistic people? <laughs> <laughs>
Yes.